Hey everybody, look what we have right here in front of us. Don't you just love all in ones? Well, don't be fooled, it's not a Lenovo that we have. That's just the box. Inside, we actually have an HP all in one that needs to be looked at. Looks like it's been sitting in a garage for a while. All the dust on top of the thing. The complaint is they think it got hit by lightning and apparently doesn't turn on. So let's go get into the tech room and have a look at it and see what the heck's going on with the thing. Okay, I managed to wrestle the thing out of the dang box and, um, well, here it is. In case you couldn't see the dust on it earlier, well, there you go. Look at the back of the thing. It definitely been in storage for quite a while, I must say. So, we'll try out the power supply that comes with it and see if we get any life out of it. That might clue us into something. Depending on what chipset this has. If it has the AMD chipset, um, those have had issues with the B with the BGA getting um, the BGA soldering on them getting cracks. Similar to the NVIDIA chipset issues that happened back in the late 2000s, particularly in the HP DV6000 laptops. It's an HP TouchSmart 310 PC. Can't even see it because of the backlighting. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Touch Smart 310. So what he says come out the camera on the tripod and see if I can get this thing to run. Okay, so this is a power supply that comes with it. It is a um let's see what the wattage is on it. So 120 watt adapter. It has a pretty typical um, barrel in for, for HP. Um, same as some of the laptops. I do have another power supply for an all in one. So if this power supply is actually bad, we can use it. But I kind of have my doubts that the power supply is actually bad. So let's just go ahead and plug her in and see what happens. And of course, the power supply has life. This is going to be another all-in-one with the failed motherboard. Let's see what it does. Okay, there's a power button. No video. How would I guess? No video. See if the thing's even posting at all. Probably not. I suspect the, the um, BGA chipset is probably um, you know over over the over the years of service they the BGAs the BGA chips they um. They get hot and over time it cracks the solder joints. And once that happens, it's pretty much done and over with. Um, had to replace the motherboard. So let's see here. This keyboard. I have no lights lighting up, so that's not a good sign. machine is not shut right off when I press the power button it should not um, unless it's booted into the operating system it shouldn't soft off well I mean it shouldn't there shouldn't be a delay the fan the fan seems to be functional
Looks like we got a disc in the drive. Well, yes, we do. We have. We do D plus R. Set that to the side just for now. So, yeah, let's not jump the gun and, and say for sure that's a failed motherboard. Uh, we can try a few things. We can try to change out the power supply and stuff like that, but I have my doubts that that'll make any effect. And I can try to swap the memory modules. Matter of fact, that's probably what I would try first in this case. But given the fact this has an AMD chipset, um, the chipset's probably gotten too hot over time and has, um, as mentioned, the BGA joints have failed. So let's go ahead and see if we can crack into this thing. Okay, finally we're inside this dang thing, and um, if you've watched any of my previous all one videos before, you'll know that the good majority of all ones out there are, at their core, laptops with a couple of desktop components. Sometimes they'll have a desktop CPU. Most of the time they will have a desktop hard drive, but they'll use a laptop optical drive and laptop RAM. I like to call these desk books, not notebooks, because they're essentially a notebook that's flipped up and has a monitor in front of it. And most of these, when the motherboard fails, you know, not if, but when the motherboard fails, um, you can't just go out and buy a tower and plug it up to the monitor on this and use it. I, th I think I may have sent only one or two machines, and I think that was actually one was made by Asus, um, that you could actually plug in an external uh, video feed to the built-in display and use the display. So when these fail, you're pretty much out the whole machine. Um, that's why I can't stress enough, just pass on the other ones, don't waste your time with them. Um, because it's, it's just like back in the 90s and 80s with the um, TV VCR combos most of the time the VCR would fail at some point and you'd have to go out and hunt you an extra VCR to plug into that um, TV VCR combo so you end up having two VCRs on your desk well 
Unfortunately with this, when the, when the computer inside the monitor fails, you can't just plug them in a computer to that monitor. Okay, so we'll go and try some different RAM. Now, I don't have any hopes on this, but we'll just try and see what we get. I am thinking, however, it's probably a bad board. This ain't the first, this ain't the second, probably even the third all one I've dealt with that's similar to this particular design right here. Motherboard failures are very common in these freaking things. So, step to the side around the tripod and um, so I find me some laptop RAM. Yeah, laptop RAM. Cause that's exactly what they run. Why don't you use a sticker crucial? Yeah, no, this we run to stick a crucial. Came out of a Mac a while back. Got a. I was given an, an older Mac that was in a very poor state of condition. That had been thrown across the room. Pretty badly torn up. So I had to just pretty much had to just had to. Um, harvest parts out of it and with those Macs pretty much everything is non harvestable with the exception of the RAM and the hard disk so we'll just try this single stick of four gigabytes of RAM and see if we have any luck here which I don't think it's going to happen and we're going to take a shortcut here instead of get myself out of the way here we'll take a little shortcut here So I'm going to take a little shortcut here as far as testing this thing. If I, you know, like I'm going to put this whole thing back together. Just to find out it's still bad. <laughs> so what we'll do is just elevate, the, elevate it sort of like this and pop in our power supply and see if it does anything. Well, I did notice right as soon as I um, plugged in the power, we get three blinks from the power indicator. That's probably a code. I'll have to look that up and see. Let's see if it starts. It starts, but again, same thing. No video. Okay, everybody, after additional troubleshooting attempts, this thing just will not boot at all. It starts and the fans run. Well, the, the fan runs, but, um, you know, LEDs light up. But that's it. No video. Unfortunately, as I may have mentioned already, this is not the first time I have dealt with this problem with these particular HP all in ones. Um, matter of fact, I still have the motherboard from the last one that was. I think exactly identical to this. Um, at least the motherboard is exactly the same. Um, yeah. Same motherboard. Um, yeah. I have to say, these things are this is not very reliable. Um, I can't recommend all at once for this specific reason right here. Um, high failure rate and usually when the computer fails you can't use a built-in monitor for let's say running a tower. It's not going to happen. Unless you have let's say one of the rare models of machines that such as some from Asus that allow you to actually run the monitor off of a third party source. Such as um, another computer. <laughs> Anyways Hope you guys enjoyed this video for what it was worth. Um, another Dell on one computer.
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody. I sure hope you guys enjoyed this video from Q Computer Channel. Remember to like the video, subscribe to Q Computer Channel for more updates, and remember to tick the bell so that you actually get notified of these updates. Did you know that I am also on a second channel that's CubeComp MTDX? Over there you'll find videos of bicycling, weather, elevators, and all sorts of other neat and interesting stuff. Feel free to subscribe to that channel as well. And again, I thank you for your support and thanks for watching this video.